Welcome to The Hangout. I'm joined today by the super cool rap artist, actor, writer, Ryan Oliver Henry. Henry. Hello, explain. Explain? Thank okay, um, well, I mean, I like to switch it up. Sometimes I go really, 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 really fast and I just talk like, uh, I don't know, like an engine. But sometimes I slow it down and I like to actually put a message across and actually do something with my words. And that's when the poetry kind of comes into play. Like, what was you like at school? Uh, school days, I was terrible. Not as a, like a, a bad kind of kid that always disrupting the class, etc., etc. But literally, my academics were awful. Like, I didn't do well on my GCSEs didn't do well on my A-levels, um, not because I'm silly or not because I'm like hard-headed kind of thing, it's just because that it's just not the way I work. I'm much more of a mm. kinesthetic learner. So um, I didn't have any form of drama school or acting school. I actually, to, be, to tell the truth, if I was sent to drama school, I'd probably, I probably wouldn't do well. I probably wouldn't do so well So this all. is all down to natural ability? Yes, yeah, it's, it's all about just, I'd, if you're teaching me how to swim, mm. push me in the deep end. Don't push me in the shallow. Don't, well, I already got some fake police, so you don't need to do that. But um, yeah, if you push me in the deep end, I might be uncomfortable for the first 10 seconds, but I'm gonna have to learn to swim. Now here we have a picture full of heartache. Year eights yelling rest in peace for their classmate. Mum's overwhelmed. Brothers keeping quiet about it. Rage evaporates the tears so we don't cry about it. God only knows what's going on in his head. He's not the type to talk the hype and go and plot his revenge. He's more the book smart sort of. Malcolm X talker. So everybody wants to know exactly what his thoughts are. So we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. somebody has taken you under their wing. Yep. Who is that? It's Akala. Um, okay. but it's, I, work with a, I work with a group called Hip Hop Shakespeare. Right. And Akala is like the forefront of that. Um, so how, did you, how did you meet him? It was an open mic um, event in Brixton. What I like to do is I like to just go out to loads of different open mics, just put myself out there just see who I can meet, uh, etc. And I find that open mics, open doors. Mm -hmm. So um, I was, I went to this one, I had no idea who was gonna be there. And I went up and I'm looking around the crowd, I'm doing my rap, I'm, I'm performing, etc. And I see this, this notorious Afro just bouncing around the crowd. And I'm thinking, that's a Carla, kind of thing. Bear in mind, this is someone I grew up listening yeah. to. So I'm thinking, nah. I got a bit nervous, um, but obviously, I thought I'd do what I do best. I just continued with what I was doing. Um, met him after it went, the performance went really well. Got a really good um, like response from the crowd. When I spoke to him afterwards, and then we just got talking. After you must, do, where do all the ideas and you must have so many words just in your head, and yeah. like just how do you write it all down? How does it all come together? It's. I mean, how long is a piece of string? It's just like it's. It's difficult mm. to say. Reason being is because that's just the way I've taught myself to be, and I've kind of like. That's the way my mind works. If you looked into my mind right now, you'd see a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Like, I might be sitting on the bus thinking about pink elephants clapping their hands. Like, who does that? You know what I mean? But at the same time, I can go and write something about that and you're gonna think, what on earth was he on? But I write something that you're not gonna forget. So everybody's second guessing because it's hard to read. The only one that ever could just pass from taunt arteries. And that's his own flesh and blood. Can you imagine what the thought of that does? The distort, the distress, the inevitable stress and the self-blame saying, Lord, if only I was there. What happens next, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for now, we're saying R.I.P. We miss you. 